Hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Samantha Taviramo, a graduate nurse, and today we are going to discuss a topic that so many people are curious about, yet don't often talk about. And that is what happens to your vagina when you take an extended period of time without sexual intercourse. So this video is all about understanding how the vagina works and the various changes that may occur when a person takes an extended period of time without sex or sexual intercourse. So whether you're abstaining by choice, circumstances, or you're doing due to religious um, beliefs, this video is meant to educate and empower you. So let's get started. So before we go into the changes that happen to your vagina, you have to understand what is a vagina. So this is a muscular elastic canal that connects the external genitalia to the uterus and it plays various functions. So the first one is it allows the menstrual blood to flow out of the body. It facilitates sexual intercourse and it is also a birth canal during childbirth. And another thing or fascinating thing about the vagina, it is self-cleaning. I've always been telling people in my previous videos that do not put things inside there to clean the vagina. It cleans itself up because it maintains a delicate balance of good bacteria, which prevents infections and also keeps the HB levels stable. So now that we have looked at a slight overview of what a vagina is all about, let us look at some of the changes. My first point is there are no major physical changes in most cases. So people who are maybe taking a break from the sex or are not having sex for a long period of time, your vagina is not going to shrink, close up, or lose its elasticity. This is because it is designed to adapt to various situations and its elasticity enables it to stretch and also return back to its normal shape when needed. It's that when you take a long period of time without having sex, also your vagina is going to take some time to adjust when you start having the sexual intercourse. So that's what you should remember here. So in some cases, you've also heard of women complaining of vaginal dryness. So vaginal lubrication is influenced by the hormonal levels, especially the estrogen. So if there is no sexual activity, especially also in women who are nearing menopause, they may notice vaginal dryness because of the low estrogen levels and also because the tissues are not being stimulated regularly so this is not harmful at all no it's not and it can be managed using uh, vaginal lubricants or moisturizers if you need them another point is the weakened pelvic floor muscles so what you have to know here is sexual activity normally engages the pelvic floor muscles and these muscles normally play a key role in the bladder control vaginal support and sexual sensation so how do they do that when it comes to the bladder control these muscles normally help with the bladder function and consistency when it comes to the vaginal support they normally give support to the uterus and other reproductive organs and when we talk about the sexual sensation they normally these muscles normally contribute to the sexual arousal however if there is no sex or sexual intercourse for a long period of time these muscles are slightly weakened so what you have to know any muscle in the body if you don't use it for a long period of time they tend to tone down over time so they become slightly weaker it is the same thing with these muscles if you're not having sexual intercourse they're going to be slightly weak however in this case exercises like the kegels or the pelvic floor exercises help you in this situation and strengthen them so if you know that you're not having sex try doing these exercises they may help you out so going to the fourth point, we have the reduced natural lubrication. Now, here you have to know that with regular sexual arousal, it promotes the blood flow to the vaginal area, which helps in lubrication. However, without this stimulation, you're going to notice less natural lubricant or the body is just going to produce less natural lubrication. And this is going to affect you if you resume sex after a long period of time because you're going to experience slight discomfort or pain down there because of the less lubrication along the vaginal canal. So expect that if it is not lubricated enough, you're going to experience the pain and the discomfort. Taking us to our next point, especially women who are in or past menopause because of the lower estrogen levels. So these low estrogen levels normally cause the vagina to become thinner, less elastic, and even more prone to vaginal dryness and discomfort. So while this is more related to hormonal changes and sexual activity, regular sex or stimulation can really help to reduce these symptoms. So older women who want to get rid of these symptoms can try sexual intercourse. However, I've seen most of them actually are fine and can live without sex so it's all up to you your body your choice 
but taking me to my next point is if you have not had sex in a very long period of time you're going to feel a little bit tighter or less stretched so if you're having sexual intercourse after a long period of time you're going to feel a little bit tight this is because your vaginal walls have not been stretched in a while so this is a temporary sensation it is not a permanent change and with time your vagina is going to stretch accordingly so it's just a matter of time so let me talk about the reduced libido and sexual arousal so when you take a long time without having sex some people will notice a natural decrease in their libido and desire to have sex so this happens because the brain's reward system that releases feel-good hormones like the endorphins the dopamine the oxytocin is not activated as often so this is not a permanent thing um, but it can change because of the hormonal shifts or the life circumstances. So when you start having sex, this can change. In simple terms, the more you do something, the high chances that you're going to love it. However, the less you do something, the high chances that you're not going to do it again or you're not going to love it. As simple as that. So I want us to also talk about the impact of the HB balance and the natural flora. So what you have to learn today is that sex introduces new bacteria into the vaginal canal which disrupt the natural flora. Yes, you have to know that the vagina has natural flora. So if you're not sexually active, that means that your vaginal pH is going to stabilize, which is going to prevent the risk of infection, the bacterial vaginosis, the UTI, the sexually transmitted diseases. So for you, you're going to be having a healthy vagina with no infection, um, the pH levels are stable, and also the natural flora has not been disrupted. So this is a positive note for ladies. I mean, why would you want to be on medication every time treating a UTI or treating an STD? Because at the end of the day, if you get an STD, you have to be treated with your partner. Both of you have to get medication together. If they are treating only you without your partner, you're wasting time. When you go back and again engage in sexual intercourse with your partner, you're going to exchange again the what? The bacteria. And it is going to continue reoccurring. So make sure when you get these infections, go together with your partner to a health care provider and get medication together. So in relation to the above points, we can talk about the improved vaginal health for some ladies. So for individuals or for ladies and um, women who have experienced discomfort, irritability, or even infections during their previous sexual intercourse, Taking a break from sex can give the vaginal tissues time to heal and restore their natural balance. So if maybe you've got vaginal scratches during sexual intercourse previously, take your time, take a break and heal. Then also if you've got any infections and your medications, take your time, take your medications and heal. Look, if you are a single person, you're not married, take as much time as you want. Take as much time as you feel like it is for you. But if you are married, you cannot make this decision by yourself. Conversations have to be made. Decisions have to be taken by you and your husband. So you cannot just wake up and say, you know what, hubby, husband, babe, whatever you call him, I'm taking a break from sex. Me and you are just going to, you know, look at each other and not do anything. Like he's going to first look at you and like, okay what do you expect me to do do you want me to go outside and get you what do you want me to you know so you have to have these conversations with your partner and so that you can resolve so many things you can't just take a break if you are married to someone so while this may not be directly related to our topic today but sexual or lack of sexual activity can affect our mental and emotional health so some people may feel low insecure they have low self-esteem especially if their partners do not want to have sexual intercourse with them for various reasons so they may question themselves like are they enough and all those things like self-doubt questions and basically this is going to affect their overall mood so some people are just there they're not happy they're not sad they're just there basically let me say they're just sad people they're just sad people also another thing some people are irritable someone is irritable over the smallest silliest things so that is also there so you have to know exactly who you are dealing with then there are also other people who have a different perspective a different positive um experience from this so some people feel like abstaining from sex is empowering and it gives them a sense of peace clarity or alignment with their beliefs as many people have different um, perspectives about sex so everyone's experience is different now some people who attach so much emotion on this they're like oh, me, i'm waiting until marriage i want to experience this with my partner i want to experience this with the man that god gives me some people do not attach anything to this some people are like 
i like this person let's do it i want to have fun let me do this so it depends everyone has a different experience everyone views this differently so i'm not going to sit here and say oh my god everyone is holy everyone or maybe is open-minded everyone no people are different you're going to meet people who are open-minded they are willing to try anything they are willing to have a little bit of fun then you're going to meet people who are conservative they're going to tell you me i'm not open to that so it depends on you i already told that everyone is different everyone has a different perception make your own decisions because it's your body let us make a special conclusion to this video because i enjoyed making it so what you have to know is taking a break from sexual intercourse does not cause dramatic changes the body just experiences some small adjustments and i would love to say something small to people who might find this video uncomfortable i am not here encouraging sexual intercourse outside of people's values or beliefs this video is meant to teach women to know how their bodies work and how to better take care of them and also if you choose to wait it is a beautiful decision that i respect deeply let this video be a reminder of god's creation and how our bodies are wonderfully and fearfully made if you enjoyed this video and learned something new today do not forget to like share and subscribe i would love to hear your thoughts and questions in our comment section below until next time let us meet in our next discussion